Have you asked yourself what would be the shadow that a hypercube produced when it is rotated? An hypercube is the generalization of a cube in four or more dimensions. It looks like this. It is pretty weird. It seems that the tiny cube is coming to the surface and it is getting bigger. The other cube is getting smaller at the same time in an infinity cycle. Breaks our intuition of things in 3D. A point helps us to indicate the position of something in space. The point has neither width nor height nor depth. Meaning that it has no dimensions, but there exists. For example, when you have an integral from point A to point A, the same point, such integral has to be zero. A rectangle with zero width or zero height has zero area. Out of context info. A point is part of the basic constructions of geometry. With many, many points we can make a line. The line is the representative of dimension 1. While the plane is the representative of dimension 2. What follows? We start from point, line, plane. Of course it follows the space. Three-dimensional space or a fraction of it like the volume of a cube. Very few of us have thought beyond three-dimensional space. It is a bit difficult to imagine something beyond space, something like hyperspace, meaning more than three dimensions. How could we build an hypercube, also called, fourth-dimensional cube? Constructing such a figure can be useful to understand higher-dimensional spaces. With an infinite amount of points we can make a line from that line we can take a piece from point A to point B. This gives us a line segment. With several line segments, we can make a plane segment. Delimiting the space give us a A square. Then with several squares we can enclose some part of three-dimensional space. We formed a cube. Now the interesting part. Several cubes can enclose a region of fourth-dimensional space. The animation really shows an hypercube. But is not in fourth dimensions. Is not even in three dimensions. It is in two dimensions. A representation of a fourth dimensional solid object that we can render in an screen. It would be very cool to see a live 3D representation of an hypercube. Let's think about this. If we want to observe a cube through the screen we can only observe the cube from a perspective, from a single plane, that is our own screen. Works in a very similar way to how the shadows works. The shadow of a cube is sometimes a square but can be many other forms or figures. Depending on your perspective the shadow of a cube can look very different. Far from how a cube looks in three-dimensional space. Sometimes this shadow does not follow the characteristics of a rotating solid. Rotation preserves area, in case of 3D volume, and lengths. Namely the rotating cube is not changing his volume or the length of the edges nor his angles between edges are varying in 3D space. We understand very well a rotating cube, we know is not changing widely as his shadow. Weird behavior comes from our projection to 2D space. The hypercube shown here is only a representation of what is happening to a real hypercube on four-dimensional space. It gives us a vague and distorted idea about how an hypercube looks rotating. We see a 2D shadow from the actual figure. Animation gives us more information about the hypercube. Even though it really does not look like this to four-dimensional beings with 4D vision. Representing the hypercube in 2D comes with a cost, hypercube is deformed hypercube to be able to adjust it to a three-dimensional space points from on-screen hypercube live in two-dimensional space. Thanks to animation we can sense some depth, three-dimensional space, from the hypercube. We can think projections as shadows on a surface, produced by a light source. 
hypercube in fourth dimensions is a rigid figure and can also be thought as a solid. If we rotate a cube in three-dimensional space, all edges and angles are preserved. Edges meet at right angles and length of edges is always the same for each of them. The same happens with a rotating hypercube, the same is preserved. Animation seen on screen change the length of edges and the angle at where they meet. This shows how difficult it is to represent fourth dimensions on only two dimensions. We lost some properties of hypercube with this representation. Imaging rotation is also very difficult to imagine. We have not intuition about rotation or figures in fourth dimensional space. Thanks for watching.